Hey everyone, it is Friday and I'm starting up a new vlog and I am feeling better. Antibiotics are kicking in. Had a great night's sleep, woke up and I have some energy. The pain is starting to go away. Hallelujah, praise Jesus. And I woke up to some really great sales. So first, um, more stuff from the Scandinavian sale. Uh, another Christmas bottle sold for $24.99. These tea coasters sold for $21 and change. Uh, this Christmas star sold for $49.99. Um, and then a set of the uh, Three Wise Men from Fontanini that I've had a while. This uh, little lot here sold for $21 and change. I can't remember exactly. Buyers paid shipping on everything. And what do I have over here? Oh, it's a couple packs of stickers. They sold for um, $9.99 free shipping, and I've got two pairs of LuLaRoe upstairs that sold, so it's a good start to the day. Get some energy back, because I still have stuff to list, so do I'm way behind, of course, now on household stuff and whatnot, so I need to run a couple errands today, but um, yeah, hopefully, maybe I can get some more photos done today, but I'm at least excited to start off the day with some really awesome sales. All right, just had another sale come in. Uh, these are Ugg earmuffs. Um, they sold for $49.99. I did pay up for these. I remember I paid $10 for them. Although they were in a big bulk buy at an estate sale. So, you know, I kind of tend to just lump everything together. Um, what's nice is, though, that the stuff that's been selling, I had a sale end today, and stuff is selling at full price now. So I won't probably be running a sale again until, you know, if things dip down and I feel like I need to, but I'm hoping I won't have to start any sales again until after the new year. You know, we'll have to see. I could say all that and things will come to a screeching halt and I'll need to do a sale, but kind of hoping that we're now in the stretch here where people, if they want it, they're going to buy it. So, um, I am caught up on the listing the items that I had already photographed. So now I need to go up to my office and photograph the stuff that's up there. Uh, two estate sales tomorrow. First, I have to go and pick up some dolls that I wanted an online auction. And then estate sale one and then estate sale two. Fortunately, they're both in my city, not too far from where I live. Um, Papa hopefully will be able to go with me and um, see if I can pick up any more. I had a dream last night that I was able to get everything else that was at that Scandinavian shop sale. Wouldn't that be awesome? But anyway, I got to stop thinking about that thing. But it was so awesome. Um, okay, got to get this shipped out and then back to work. It is now after dinner. Um, I actually accepted an offer on these Homer Laughlin uh, plates. Was it last night or the night before? For $32.50 for six of the dessert plates. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. So they just paid. <clears throat> None of these were in the, like they all show wear. You know, I pulled out the ones that were really bad. But um, they do show wear, which I put in the listing. Probably can't see it that much on camera. Um, I had gotten this whole entire set, <coughs> excuse me, for $32.50. So I've already made my money back because I've already sold some of it. So this one's going nicely. Elmer Laughlin eggshell, Georgian. Um, there is <clears throat> an estate sale tomorrow that I'm not going to, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, now I'm all, there's an orb on me again, and I'm supposed to be looking there, whatever. So, um, there is a, another estate sale tomorrow, but I'm not going. It is from a company that every time I go to their sales, I end up stressed out, anxious, angry. My blood pressure goes up. And the last time I went to one and I left, I'm like, I'm not going again. Why am I doing this to myself? There are a few reasons. Okay. So this lady, she used to work for one of the estate sale companies I actually like. And she left them and started her own. She prices everything way, way, way high. And she'll go, you can hear her as she goes around. I looked it up. I looked it up. I looked it up. So she won't. And then when people are like, you know, trying to make her an offer to lower stuff, she just won't do it. But anyway, so everything's really super high. But she has a half off day and sometimes she'll do those $5 fill bags. Great. However, um, the checkout process is what drives me the craziest. She has a little table. I mean, it's literally like, what's, how much is this? Three feet? And narrow. 
She's got a cash register on it. She always has like a little tablecloth. She tries to make it dressy. She's got a tablecloth, a little sign up sheet for emails. I have my email on. I've never gotten an email from her. And last time she had a candy dish. There's hardly anywhere to put your stuff down. Like you're trying to buy stuff and like, okay, we're at the checkout table. Can you move your candy crap out of the way so I can check out? There's no holding table. Um, so when you do get to check out, she is not friendly. She does have some other staff working for her, some other ladies who are always really nice and everything, but she is not friendly. She's all she cares about is getting her little numbers in her cash register. And she doesn't on half off day, put the numbers in and then do half. She tries to put half in her head and then put that in. So like, that's all she's focused on. And it's just so aggravating. Then there is no one to help you um, package or carry your stuff. And there's nowhere for you to do it yourself. Like one of the estate sale companies I go to, they clearly say in their ad, we don't have the staff to help you, you know, wrap and carry, bring your own stuff. And that's fine. But they provide plenty of space and they are kind of there and they're like, hey, do you need more paper? You know, they're, they're trying to be as helpful as they can, right? And at least I have room to, nope, nowhere there. Like I had all those dishes that I just showed you that I sold some. That's where I got that set and I had a whole box of them. Last time there was a guy there. I don't know if maybe it was her son or something playing on his phone. And I'm like, uh, could you get the door for me, please? Opens the door, lets it slam, like, oh, don't bother. I mean, this is a big young guy. Don't bother helping me carry all this. An older gentleman came up and helped me carry it to the car. So by the time I got in my car, I was so angry. I'm like, every time I go to the sale, I'm ticked off. I'm not going anymore. I don't need it. I find plenty of stuff other places. So it's just one of those cases, like sometimes you have a source and you just gotta cut them off. This is the same thing with some other thrift stores in town. We do have St. Vincent de Paul hate going there. I've talked about it before. It smells like poop. It's dirty. Nothing's marked. And I've just been like, why bother? I get enough stuff between the three estate sale companies I like, Goodwill Sales Day and Clearance at the Consignment Store. I don't need to be going to all these other places. I like to consolidate my sourcing, saves time, saves frustration. There's that. So yeah, Three estate sales tomorrow, I'm only going to two. But yeah, leave me a comment below if you've had to like just stop going someplace because it's so frustrating or or whatever. Leave me a comment below. Let me know that I'm not the only one that crosses sources off my list. Um, could you two be any cuter? That is adorable. That is adorable. You guys are so cute all snuggle together. Aw. Estate sale Saturday. All right, we're home from the estate sales. Um, as predicted, the first one, I just didn't really, I didn't find anything. Uh, but the second one got quite a lot of stuff, so we're getting it out of the car, so I'll show that to you. Uh, first had a couple sales. This is just an Aladdin um, Disney lunchbox. It does have the th th thermos, but it's plastic. You know, the metal ones are the ones that are really valuable. But anyway, it's still sold for $11 and change. Buyer paid shipping. And then this is a Maurice's, like a sweatshirt, um, and it's sold for $19.99 with uh, free shipping. Somebody asked, they've never heard of Maurice's. I saw a comment. It's just a mall brand. They're all over the country. But um, yeah, just a mall brand, but it's pretty popular, so I, I sell a lot of it, and it's easy to find, cheap to pick up. And I got up. you some new chairs. <coughs> oh my. I don't think I can hit fit in there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think those are anything. I might take them to the consignment store. Yeah, I would get a dirty. Yeah, they're dirty, but. Filthy dirty. Hi, Luke. Hi, baby. Hi, Charlie. Oh, there's things on the floor, and Charlie's just eating them all. Oh, Charlie. Oh, no, he's. You need better choices. He had your shoes. Oh. And then he had a stick from the garage eating that. Well, Charles, that's not very. Good to do, Charlie boy. Charlie boy. Is that, are you living your best life by eating dirt off the floor, Charlie? I don't think Oprah would think so. Would Lucy's living her best life, aren't you, Lucy? To only eat edibles. <laughs> oh, you guys are cute. Woohoo. So I had a $27 um, online doll auction that I got a bunch of stuff at. These are some of it. The rest of it's coming in. And then that's everything I got from 
The second estate sale, everything was half off. So if you see a sticker, it was half that. And I spent $88 there. And I got some really cool vintage uh, new in the box stuff. So <laughs> lay it all out and I'll show it to you. <laughs> Haul video time. Wow. Everyone's favorite. I'm going to have a lot of work to do. Yeah, here. dirty. <clears throat> all these brown, brown bean, uh, Marcrest. Old fashioned oven proof stoneware with a brown finish. We got two pictures, right? Yeah, we do. Well, there's another one. Somewhere. Yeah, wrapped up. Oh, they wrapped that up. Okay. Oh, Charles. Charles is chewing my leg. Charlie, honey. Charlie, let's not do that. Yeah. Okay. Two of those. Charlie. We don't have a Excuse me. Sorry. Mister, I just have to hold you. Look at yourself. Look at your behavior. A casserole dish. Oh, you're too heavy to hold the whole time. Oh, here we go. Charlie, honey. I'm going to have to put him in his little kennel. Otherwise, he's going to bite me the whole time. I got the warmer that goes with the casserole dish, but I might sell it separate. We'll see. Then we think this says cookies. It sure is the weirdest I've ever seen, but pretty sure that's cookies on the front. Yeah. I guess so. Cookies. We spent $88 at the estate sale, and then I spent $28 on the online doll auction. And so you got this? Yeah, got that. Got a Turvis tumbler mug. Only 50 cents! Well, I know. The then we have this doll. Oh, another brown. I think people call it baked bean pottery. Probably. Another pot, just a casserole dish. Oh, that could go on top of the uh, warmer. Then we have this doll. Did she come with anything written on her? Kaiser. Oh, well, that's the stand. Made oh. in Taiwan feet. Um, pin cushion, half plastic vinyl. Oh well, she was. She, this I just I love. I don't know what it does. Can you open it up and we can take the stickers off later, or oh. not? Oh maybe. <laughs> Metal line automatic home sprayer, and it's pink. That is the most awesome. Oh here's what, for home garden farm hotel hospital delivers extremely fine. Aerosol like mist. Simply pour material into sprayer, pump and apply. Clear solution only. Huh. Is this just for like like a the first version of the breeze? That's pretty like you know, you put a cleaner, air freshener in there. I don't know, you know. Then all of these flutes, which are Schmid. Schmid? Yeah, and what does it say up there? Schmid, the creative hand, yeah. France. 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 And they're, yeah. Yeah, what is that in the middle? What is the design? I don't even, just flowers? It's flowers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway, they were only a buck today. Oh. Electric alarm clock. I just thought it looked, I mean, it's Sears, but it sure has a funky vintage look to it. I know. Everything was like new, but yet had been taken out once before. Instructions box. How cool that is, like a loose site front. Finding any flaws yet? Well, it looks, it's got a nice scratch here. Well, that, that's okay. No, I know, it's just I, it's dirt. Just the same, I don't know, whatever. What? What's in here? Oh, these, I couldn't find a brand name, but they're definitely old. And they're really jammed in there. No. They're silver. Here. Silver dishes with wood stand. Never used. Okay, we'll just, yeah. That's stuck in there. Okay. What? Oh, then we got three of these. The starter sets. Dinner plate bowl mugs. 
So we got three of those. Then this is a vintage, I wasn't gonna get, I don't get Wilton anymore, but this still had the box. It's a sweet stand-up candlelight cake. Still in the box. A, an Inesco musical Noah's Ark. More of those. Holiday, again, these are the older ones since they had the boxes, I got them. This is cool, Sugar Plum Disney Sugar Molds. Those are neat. I think you should make them for the holidays. Probably not. Okay. I probably won't be cooking this week, holidays, <laughs> this year. Here's some of the dolls. I was just like throwing them in a box to carry them. I know they were all on stand. She had quite the collection. I think she goes in. Oh, she goes in the box. This is baby oh, soft that's sounds. Oh, yeah, okay. that's, that's what she does. It's okay. a Fisher Price Electronic. Well, let's see about her. Copper teapot with the nice porcelain handle. These are Hummels, or at least Goebel. Goebel. But they make Hummel, so. West Germany, they only, I mean, I paid two fifty for these. They're probably worth a million dollars at least. Whoa. Just the pasta one. <laughs> oh, pasta. <laughs> yeah, a little scratched up, but somebody may want the replacement for it. Another one of those. I think that was everything from, I was gonna show this. This was in a doll auction. A at, or A G F A film, nothing escapes. I don't know, some camera collector might want this. Then we have Leonardo, squeeze my foot, hug me, but he needs batteries. Yeah. It says the batteries are under his butt flap. Yeah. And three doll chairs. And then these dolls. This poor child, oh, he need help. Take his clothes off and wash them. Child, you need a bath. Yeah. Woo! Betty Boop! This was just in a lot of stuff. This is, whoa! Memories of yesterday. Oh, it's a Nesco piece. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a cabbage patch doll that goes with that somewhere. These are all of the the paperwork this lady had for the dolls I got that she knew of. Random doll, broken doll chairs. <laughs> you know, this lady, I don't know. She's missing a shoe. I wonder if it's in, it might just be in the bottom of the box because I was trying to hurry up. Here's bright Malibu Barbie getting married. These are all like 80s dolls. Yeah, and their accessories are with them. Surprised she didn't keep them in the box. You wanna like put them some, put them right on the chair for while we dig them all out? Then we can put them all back in. That's some vintage doll. That's Skipper. Skipper's all dressed with a shower cap on. Another random, a lot of bisque and German and just random stuff. Ooh, Barbie, you got some eyeshadow issues going on. Woo! Oh, I get it. <laughs> are falling. Here's the cabbage patch that goes with that. Okay. Here's this creepy clown. Victoria China. Be careful, it's China. <laughs> Stone bisque. 
made in Taiwan. Another Barbie. Another random piece of something. Oh, look, uh, look, the tongue comes out. Yeah. More Bubble of these bath. bisque dolls. Bubble bath. Oh. This is Celia. Random little, there's a, a Nesco. And then these are, these are those salt bisque four piece band. No markings. Probably worth a bazillion dollars. Well, so I think that's everything. Okay. Well, how do you think we did? I think we did very well. Very well. How much money is this going to make us? Oh, a couple hundred dollars. A couple hundred dollars. Spend a little over a hundred, probably turn it into just an extra hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yep. Hey, it is now Saturday night, and I just had two really good sales come in. First is this little lot of 15 um, little... Demetas tasting spoons. Um, they sold for $37 and change. Free shipping. I just listed them last night. That's awesome. And then the two dinner plates I had in the Royal Copenhagen Golden Summer pattern. Um, they sold for $134 and change. And the buyer paid shipping. So yay. Oh, I wish I had a whole box of this. Was there any more at that sale? If there was, I'm gonna cry. But anyway, so yeah, I've I had five plates total, and I've sold them for a hundred two hundred and thirty-seven bucks of the five of them. So with the buyer's paint shipping on top of that, yeah, don't you wish all sales could be like that? I do. Hey everyone, it's Sunday morning. We've got three sales on eBay to start the day. Where else would I have a sale from? eBay sales. Because like I feel like I should say that because new people start watching, they're like, what are you talking about? LuLaRoe shirt, 26 and change, free shipping. Three Fontan eating, one buyer, $7.50 each, and they paid shipping. And then four of the Homer Laughlin dinner dishes for $29.99, and the buyer paid shipping on top of that. I got all of that listed last night. Papa is cleaning up the hard goods from um the state sale yesterday so i've cleared my cart other than these pieces i'm still hoping that i might they might have the um stuff from that scandinavian sale at like a warehouse sale sometime and i might get more of that so i'll just save that stuff see if i ever get because piecing it out isn't really going to be that worth it for me at least um but yeah i could fill my cart and my table now with the stuff that's in the living room and get the stuff out of the living room because eventually we're going to have to put the Christmas tree. I can't even imagine what Charlie's going to think of the Christmas tree. We might leave the table in the living room that we put um, stuff on for eBay and put the Christmas tree on there. <laughs> We've talked about that actually. Let's put all three Christmas trees on the table. But anyway, today I need to then do more photos because I've caught up on everything that I had pictures of. Yay! Are you shipping or are you just putting things back in their box? No, I'm fixing this for you. It'll be ready. I'll, I have to take photos of them too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I take photos of, of that one. Because that one is flawed. I'm going to sell this one separate. Okay. I need a good set to photograph. Okay. Yeah. You got one. Okay. So I'll take, I got two good sets and then one that I'll do on its own because it's got flaws. Yeah. I don't even know if I'll sell that plate. I might just sell the cup and bowl since it's pretty. Even though I think these are manufacturer flaws, the glaze didn't cover. Because these are new in box, so, I don't know. Anyway. Well, you guys, oh my goodness, this is pathetic. They can barely sit up or, or lay down even. They're so tired. You're so tired, you can't even lay down. Okay. I am caught up on all of the hard goods that I had photographed and actually cleared the table. There's this stuff under here, but it's jewelry and some toys that I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do it. Um, random little things there in the clock. Otherwise, it's done. Um, so what is in the living room? My dad is cleaning up. I'm going to move that in here so I won't have it in the living room. So that'll be awesome. So what I'll do is I'll put, needs to be listed here. Then I can take it, photograph it. 
when it's photographed, put it on the cart. When the cart's full, go to the computer, sit down list. When it's listed, put it in the basket and take it downstairs. It's a process, but it works. So while that's going on, I'm going to finish photographing all of this LuLaRoe. Um, Cause I want it out of my room and it needs to be photographed and it needs to be done. So I don't know in terms of listing it, my priority right now, like I've told you guys before is hard goods, but I can at least get the drafts um, ready and then I can, you know, do it in segments. It doesn't take long at all to list this stuff because I don't um, measure it and the item style and the size and everything is on the tag. So it does go pretty fast. So just need to do snap some photos um, and start making drafts and get this, these two piles out of my bedroom. And I'm done. Got all the LuLaRoe photographed. Yee-ha. Now I can create drafts and have them ready to go when I have the time to sit down and list. Oh, I feel, I feel pretty good, to be honest. Glad I got that done. Note that when I'm taking photos of LuLaRoe, I not only take, it obviously it has the tags, then I take pictures of the that label, and then I also take pictures of the inside fabric label because these LuLaRoe chicks are really picky and they want to know where it was made and the exact um, fabric content. So take a couple extra seconds and get those and it will save you a lot of time answering questions. All right, it is now Sunday evening. I have four orders to show you. Two I'm happy with, two I messed up on, so I'm ticked off on. I moved some things over to auction and I was for sure that I went in and I changed them for the buyer paid shipping, but I, I don't know. They got free shipping on them. Uh, first is this Nike Pro Top, $9.99 free shipping. So it's like, I'm not as upset about that, whatever. But then this little teacup, how on earth did that get free shipping on it? So anyway, that sold for $9.99 free shipping. So that sucks. Um, but then I sold four of the Noritake dinner plates and just to tip with Noritake the pattern name is always printed on it see it's Savoy um $44.99 buyer paid shipping and then four of the Homer Laughlin uh teacups and saucers they're all wrapped up there um I took a best offer for $26 plus shipping so I've got so much of this stuff so some of the lower quality um you know if somebody makes me a decent offer I'm more than happy to take it, uh, especially when they pay shipping and not like the, this thing. But again, I've had this for ages. I'm trying not to pick up single um, cups anymore unless I'm for sure it's a good one. So whatever, at least it's an older piece out of here. Is the holiday shopping season over yet? <laughs> Cause I'm kind of burned out already. And I know it's still about five weeks to go for me in terms of eBay, but man, this weekend was tough. Tons of work. I mean, it's great to have sales and everything. I, you know, you hate to complain about that, but when you're also trying to source and photograph and list while having great sales and then keep up with your house and, uh, yeah, I didn't eat any dinners per se. I had some cheese and some kettle cooked potato chips and milk and then poor Papa, I was so tired he didn't want anything I offered him, so he had organic cheese puffs and some birthday cake. <laughs> fail, fail, fail. But we're both just so tired. I tried to um, <coughs> clean up my office a little bit here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. You know, I originally positioned these shelves because I thought, I'm going to have a really cute YouTube backdrop. Forget it. I'm going to put poly mailers on them because the thing with it is, is my inventory, you guys know, is downstairs. The bulk of the shipping um the shipping containers, the envelopes and boxes are downstairs. So I go downstairs. I think I get what I need. I get up. Oh no, I forgot something. Ugh. So I'm bringing the poly mailers up here. Most of them, not all of them. I still have some bigger ones that are like the um, bubble mailers. And then I'm going to use this to store um, these bags, which I sometimes will use to wrap items in. I needed a place to organize those. So I'll use that. And then that'll give me another thing on the top. Don't mind the dog hair all over it. Oh, jeez. Um, another surface. These are all the photos I did clothing of today. Um, I've still got a pile of crap over there. And what else? What else? What else have I done? 
Got the LuLaRoe here, clothing, spring, summer to deal with, stuff to take to the consignment store, container. I mean, it's just like, I am drowning. I am drowning, drowning, drowning. I had a meltdown earlier tonight because it's like, we just have so much stuff between the eBay stuff and then it gets in with the household stuff. And I literally like want to go out in the garage and throw everything that's in the garage out on the curb and say free. Even like the mower, which is stupid. We need the mower. But I'm just like, oh my God, I'm tripping over everything. So anyway, um, yeah, I am going to wrap up this vlog by showing you my love with food box. Try to start out or end on a happy note with some lovely snacks from love with food. Um, and that way, those of you who are only here for the eBay don't have to keep watching. And if you like to see this kind of stuff, you can keep watching. Um, but if you are exiting now, please give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so Love With Food is a monthly subscription box. They have three different levels, a tasting box, the deluxe box, which is what I get. And then they have a gluten-free box. So I get the deluxe box. And um, yeah, I'm going to open it up and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, here's a first look at the box. Um, I will put the link to Love With Food below if you want to go and check them out. Every box you buy, they donate um, to, they donate a meal to like food bank, whatnot. Anyway, they donate stuff. You can also earn points through um, buying the boxes and through referrals and it's always been a good, good program. I had gotten out of it for a while just because Papa wasn't eating stuff, but he's been eating snacks a bit more. So we're back in. Um, and I like this stuff too. <clears throat> so first thing we're gonna pull out is this bag of chickpea chips which is cilantro lime. These are gluten-free, crispy cheek, cheek pea, chickpea and rice. Now they're cilantro, so that's spicy. So we won't be eating these because we do not like spicy food. And there's cayenne pepper, but we'll take it to my brother's house for Thanksgiving. They'll eat anything. Then we have some gluten-free pretzel twists. Hmm, gluten-free pretzels. That's good. Then we have some pure growth organic cheddar monkeys. Ooh, love me some cheese. Oh, more of these. They've sent these before. They're actually quite good. Um, Kashi Chewy Nut Butter Bars. This is the salted chocolate chunk. And then this is a made good apple cinnamon granola bar. Ooh, it has vegetables in it. Hmm. Papa eats granola bars a lot, so that's a good thing. Then we have some strawberry lemonade. Oh, these little packets, that's great, because he's always, he doesn't like water, so I'm always trying to find something for him to drink. So that's great. Then we have this little almond toffee. Ooh, put that for me over there. <laughs> Papa doesn't need to see that. Then we have mint chocolate honey patties. Huh, only three ingredients. Dark chocolate, raw white honey, and peppermint oil. Ooh, those sound good. Mmm, I might share. Maybe. Then we have one potato, two potato, sweet potato chips. I really like sweet potato chips. They're so good. Then we have toasted coconut chewy toffee with sea salt. Well, Papa gets this one because he really likes coconut. And it's chewy. That would be good. Huh. It's different. Then we have some Go Organically fruit snacks. I've sent these before it those. Then we have Emmy's Vanilla Bean Organic Coconut Cookie. There's another one for Papa. 100 calories, grain-free. Hmm. Most of the things like you'll see in here are going to be organic, vegan, vegetarian, non-GMO. They do put a lot of gluten-free in. Um, then little ads for the stuff that's inside. Some candies, some ginger candies. Those are good to keep on if you're feeling nauseated. Then we have these. What are these? Blood orange. I I have a hard time eating things that say blood orange because of the word blood. But they're little candies. Papa will eat those. We got a wine certificate. We've got allure offers. We have more offers. Offers, offers, offers. How many times can you say offers, 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 offers before it sounds sound like otter? And that is this month's box. So again, I will leave Love With Food link below if you wanna go check it out. Um, and that's gonna wrap up this vlog. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll leave any questions or comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe for notifications. Apparently that helps. YouTube, 
um, algorithm. They've changed it and views and subscribers and all payouts, to be honest with you, are like way down. It's my, I've been cut in half just in the last um, few months. So it's kind of hard, but um, yeah. So anything you can do, you know, liking the video, commenting, making sure you subscribe, sharing it via social media does help a lot. Um, and with that, I'm going to wrap this vlog up and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.